It's now a couple days later and you can see that the pond is definitely overflowing. People might look at this and say, well, this looks really bad. I promise you it looks worse than it actually is. After the uh, snow melt is gone, if we get a week's worth of just warm temperatures, this will all dry up fine. We'll walk over here a little ways. It's another 40 degree day. So again, a lot of that snow melt melting off, funneling over here and flowing down. Like I said, the water is overflowing on the pond. We'll take a look over there at the catch basin too and see how much water is flowing in from the woods. And I'm gonna try to kind of just estimate where the the high point is of this ground like is it here is this the point that it starts flowing that direction and this would be the point that we need to make this the high ground of the pond to bring the level up on this side i think it is i think if we actually just bring this pond around right here in this area bring this area up the entire pond level will also raise looks like we can bring it up about another foot that would be the ideal scenario situation. And then all this on the left-hand side would just kind of drain over there to the ditch like it's been doing. As a secondary option, I can always go ahead and dig in a drain to the ditch back there on that side. And then I can have control over uh, how high I want the pond level to go before I open that drain and allow it to go to the drainage ditch. So lots of options, either I continue letting it naturally overflow and go across the yard uh, over here on the left hand side or we can go ahead and dig in that drain let me know what you think uh, would be the best option this is uncontrolled of course just letting it flow across the grass but i think in the summertime we won't have to worry about it too much in, in the springtime here once all the snow melt the runoff finishes up i think things will stabilize uh, pretty fast and a lot of this will dry up uh, pretty fast as well so let's go ahead go over there to the woods now and we'll see how much water is actually flowing into the pond from over in that area here's a shot of the catch basin over here in the woods so it's definitely overflowing that you can see the screen's doing a great job catching a lot of that debris from going down in there and then you can see the six inch pipe underneath there that is flowing over the pond. So that's how much outflow we're getting over there on that end right now, what's coming into here, as well as what's flowing over here in the grassy area, going into the pond and then overflowing the yard heading over to the drainage ditch over there on that side. The more I think about it, I do think that probably putting in a tube to adjust the flow out to the drainage ditch would probably be the best option going forward then I actually have control over if it does go across the grass or if I want to manually open that up and let it flow out to the ditch let's take a look over here in the grass see how much is uh, coming into this catch basin it's like we have a pretty good flow here yet too coming into the top so just barely overflowing the top of that right now draining all the melt that's coming off of this hillside down in there. You see I shoved it down a little bit more now it's going over the top. A little bit faster. We'll see what happens hopefully in the next couple days. All the snow melts and things dry up a little bit and we'll be able to see where these low-lying areas will still be standing with water in them. Here's just a quick time-lapse video that I started uh, when the snow was all melting and you can see the pond level come all the way up and start to overtop, you also see a lot of the wildlife that we have out here. Geese, uh, some ducks here and there uh, like to frequent the pond, but you can see the pond level rise and lower as we get more precipitation and then starts overflowing the edge of the pond. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button, make sure you subscribe to the channel, and if you have any questions or comments, make sure you leave those down below as well. And until the next one, I'll see you then. Thanks for watching and make sure you hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. Also make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next videos I will be posting and leave your questions, comments, and suggestions below.